will be fought in the Phoenix Fighting Championships 17 kilograms category and will be for the vacant WMC Intercontinental title. Please welcome your first fighter making his way to the blue corner, representing China, Shane Wei. Shane Wei from China, first out in this next matchup. A five rounder for the WMC Intercontinental title at the Junior, junior Middleweight Championship at 70 Keys. Jay Wei, well, himself currently a Muay Thai World Champion. Looking to cast his bread on the water and try and rest this belt. And, ladies and gentlemen, the second challenger making his way to the red corner. This fighter represents Armenia! Please welcome Armen Grigorian! Armen Grigorian! From Armenia, you can hear the crowd here. Absolutely uproarious in their support. Veteran fighter steps into the ring against Xi Wei as they will battle tonight for the WMC Intercontinental title. Grigorian holds kickboxing world championship titles and is a five-time Muay Thai national champion of Armenia, having journeyed in Spain, Russia and Thailand under the World Muay Thai Federation. Jay Wee, just 21 years old, He's been approved by the World Muay Thai Council as a qualified fighter for the WMC. He's earned the Top King World Series Nanchang belts in 2017, then went on to win the Max Muay Thai title in Thailand this year. You can hear the crowd really, really making their presence felt here as Gregorian steps into the ring. It's Armenia versus China. Just joined us, I'm Sensei Will Banders. So what do you and us? Frank Waterman to give you the information about the next battle. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing these two Muay Thai warriors once again. The fighter standing in the blue corner. He is 21 years of age and stands 174 centimeters tall. He has a fight record of 24 wins with six losses. He represents China. He is Xi Wei. And standing across the ring in the red corner, this fighter is 26 years of age. He stands 178 centimeters tall. He has a fight record of 28 wins with four losses. He represents Armenia! He is Armen Grigorian! Your referee in charge of it, sir, Ahmed Blake. from the Armenian contingent 
in this arena tonight. Palpable. And that's an understatement. Five rounds to contest the WMC Intercontinental title. This is the Junior Middleweight Championship at 70 kilograms. From Armenia, Armin Grigorian. From China, Ji Wei. Referee, Mr. Ahmed Blaybell. Before we start, looking at the numbers here, 24 and 6 for Ji Wei at 21, that's impressive. 28 and 4 at 26 for Grigorian. If you can extrapolate anything from the numbers, that tells you absolutely nothing. But Grant, this looks like it's going to be an absolute firecracker. It's going to be a firecracker. I've seen Shi Wei fight in China, and he has got a great arsenal of techniques. There you see with that front teeth. He's very, very strong for his size, let me tell you. Big thunderous kicks, and look at the legs. Look at the build, the musculature there. I mean, he's built like a TIE fighter, isn't he? Yes, exactly. And uh, his style is actually described as Kung Fu in China. Um, Jumping high kick, he pulled it out the bag, just like you said, Grant. Where did that come from? Well, if he lands these techniques, lovely low kick as well. You see his athleticism, he's at getting out the way of those punches simply by moving his body. Well, he's bringing the pressure here, isn't he? Gregorian having to work out what's going on. I'm sure Gregorian really knows his way around this, but this is a real proposition in the shape of Xi Wei. That, that, was, that was interesting. Xi Wei looks the more, the faster, more dynamic fighter, but I'm sure once Gregorian has got his timing and distance, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna be very, very effective. Wild shots there from Xi Wei. Really not uncomfortable in putting heat on the shot. Went wild, Gregorian turned him and punished him. As he did there, he slips beautifully, Gregorian, and brings Zhe uh, Wei in. But uh, Gregorian punishing Zhe Wei for these, you know, wild and, and unthought of techniques and attacks. But at 21, to have that many fights under your belt and be this classy, he certainly is a talent and a prospect. Well, in the clinch, it's Xi Wei that has the strength and brings his man down. That's not going to make Gregorian happy at all. He's really got his work cut out tonight. Spinning back fist, but Xi Wei was exposed. And actually, Gregorian advantaged himself there. And you can see the carelessness and gung-ho element of Xi Wei's attack here is going to leave him exposed. But also the fantastic timing of Gregorian. As you said, Gray, Grant, that left hand there, Gregorian took advantage of it beautifully. Again, the right hand pops through the middle. Gregorian taking advantage of the mistakes of the young gun. And Shi Wei might be the stronger of the of the two in this uh, this first round, but it's the it's who's stronger for longer that really counts. That's probably the most important phraseology I've heard concerning Mu Tai Grant. You've immortalized that. Who's stronger for longer? That's going down in the book because you're exactly right. If this goes five rounds, that's going to be a CSI scene in there. We're going to have a yellow man marked out in the center of the ring because just look at how Ji Wei is going for it and Gregorian is able to punish him when he does come in. End of the first round, that was fast and furious. End of the first round, fast and furious, some fantastic technique. Gregorian finding his timing and range towards the end of that round and Ji Wei got punished with that left hand and that actually made him rethink his game plan, I think. Yes, he thought that uh, Coming out there, all guns blazing for a quick firefight, would sort of impose himself on Gregorian. And actually, it looked for the first 30 seconds as if Gregorian was going to have a real horrible day at work. But, uh, well, experience has outed. And, you know, you still can't write Ji Wei off at this stage. This is just a real firecracker. Yeah, and, you know, Muay Thai can be a war of attrition. You can punish your opponent. They can take it, soak it up. As they said in the Rocky film, it's not sometimes how hard you can hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. And that really is a true cliche in all combat sports. Well, 
We're going to see some of that tonight because Ji Wei is getting hit, but he still keeps coming forward. It's only the first round, but this is an attritional game, Grant. You can't go to the well and expect to keep coming up trumps every time. That was a powerful front teeth right from the opening from Ji Wei, wasn't it? And they're thick old legs he's got there. Yeah, everything thrown with mean intention, everything thrown not just to open up your opponent, but and find out your range, but every technique meant to hurt your opponent. Well, this is going to be a real fight to the wire because Ji Wei has not come a long way for a short fight. He could get caught by Gregorian, but if this fight ends quickly, it'll be a showstopper. If it goes the distance, it's going to be an absolute war of attrition. And again, a five-round fight. If there are any knockdowns, as we saw with Kassam Dahir, they are very, very decisive when it comes to the scoring. Round two of this five-rounder, Armin Gregorian versus Ji Wei for the WMC Intercontinental title. Well down to the ground they go. And if, again, it's Ji Wei that's coming out the, uh, the best in this. Yep, some punishing knees there, though, thrown. Uh, in the clinch from both fighters. You can see the left midsection of uh, Shi Wei very marked up indeed. Shi Wei comes out here young, lemon fresh, but look at the Whoa. strength and the power from the clinch, Grant. That was, <laughs> that really was struck. There's that flying kick again. Well, up it comes, Gregorian caught it, tried to sweep his man, but look at Shi Wei unperturbed, smiling, and that's a bit of a worry, isn't it? Spinning back fist, Shi Wei. That's a fighter that you've got to be careful of because when you hit them and they smile, oh baby, that's when you've got to jump back and kiss yourself and tell yourself you're in the real world. Good left lead hand there from Gregorian, but this is getting exciting. Yep, he's he's looking to counter, I feel. Um, Xi Wei, he's the, he's the guy on the attack. He's got the flashier moves, but also I think he's very, very aware that entertaining the crowd is a big part of getting booked on future shows. But Flash isn't cash, and we got to see some bling happen here. And I think Gregorian needs to up his game because Ji Wei, well, starting to dominate in this second round. Is it going to count? Are the judges going to score it? It's nice seeing a jumping high kick, but if it doesn't land like the elbow strike, it doesn't score. And look at the inside work Gregorian trying to manage from inside the clinch. I do love one thing I love about uh, Mu Tai at this level is the techniques you don't see in other combat sports, other stand-up fights, um, is these knees inside, the elbows at short range. We've seen how dangerous they can be in the uh, Wendell Roche, Stephen Banks fight. Oh, a lovely knee there on as, uh, as Shi Wei came in. Well, it's the, un the untold story of Mu Tai and the untold story of MMA, isn't it, Grant? It's the subtlety of what goes on on the ground or in the clinch, as you say. Really, you're blindsided from a lot of the subtle techniques that are being performed here. All of a sudden, you see blood, and it's boom. Where did that happen? This is a really intricate and technical game. And people think that you just come in the ring and it's about who hits the hardest, who's the strongest, who's the biggest. No, this is an ancient art that's been developed over years to bring subtlety and grace. One of the oldest martial arts on the planet, in fact. And you mentioned MMA there. You know, it's something I've been involved in for years and years and years but I'm always very disappointed with mixed martial arts fighters stand up. The low kick taken from Mutai is very underused. Standing elbows, very underused. They could learn a lot coming to Lebanon and training with Mr. Kiblawi. Well, there's the end of round two, there's the bell, and it's like trying to contain a bag of eels. Ji Wei is just unbelievably mobile. We saw a jumping double knee strike almost landed there. Gregorian has really got to keep his wits about him. There's a few marks and a few little nicks on Ji Wei. Our cutsman, Bob, who is a legend in his own lunchtime, been brought over from the UK to work here at Phoenix Fight, uh, Phoenix Fighting Championships too. He's worked with some of the best boxers and fighters in the world, Eubank, you name it, he's been in the ring with them all. Just looking at the action here while Ji Wei's being attended to, out from the clinch, the throw and the twist and the turn down, Gregorian bested. But just look at that, Gregorian 
gets the left hand up first on that jumping attack, then tries to take his man down. And she, she way in the clinch, there we go, you see that on the replay. He is so powerful, and it isn't just power, it's, a, it's like wrestling, you know, finding out when your opponent's off balance, taking advantage of that, or creating that, that uh, imbalance in your opponent. But his strength is just unquestionable. Absolutely, and his positioning, that subtle difference, that shift of weight that gives you the advantage to turn your man and take him down. But Ji Wei is a unit. He's kind of like a, a, a bit of a G unit, this guy, because he is a handful. We go to round three of five rounds, and the Armenian contingent, they've got flags waving, but they've quietened down because this doesn't look like it's going to be a cake that's walked for the Armenian legend that is Armand Grigorian. Xi Wei has got his eye on that WMC Intercontinental title. He'll want to return to China and put it alongside, well, his World Wu Tai Championship title and his Top King World Series Nanchang belts. No room on the pantal. This up goes the kick. It's the knockdown. Gregorian takes the count. Where did that come from? What an explosion, Grant. Well, he is dynamic. He's explosive. He's strong. He's talented. You know, the Arm Armin, the Armenian fighter, he's brought the support, but the Chinese fighter has brought an arsenal of techniques with him. Ji Wei straight back into the action. Front teeth, lands some heavy hands there. Really keen to get back on this. Elbow goes up and down, and Armenian was lucky not to get cut by that. It landed on the top of the eye. Ji Wei is like a four-wheel drive. He's plowing his way into Gregorian. This is absolutely sensational. Round three, this is where the rubber hits the tarmac. This has really stepped up a gear, Grant. And it's, it's great when you see a fighter who he'll hurt his opponent, but then capitalize on it and try to go for the finish. We don't want to see fights going to the judges. We want to see knockouts, TKOs. We want to see fighters finished. Right at the top of the round, Ji Wei really ambushed Gregorian, came right out, jumping kick. There again, Whoa. we see it. That flying teeth throws Gregor, Gregorian down onto the mat from that clinch. I mean, this is power. Now. I mean, I don't want to blink the Armenian, our Armenian friend there, smiling. But he looks like he's running out of ideas here in round three. Absolutely, and it's so early on in the round. Strategically, Ji Wei has really got this marked out. This is really an onslaught now for Gregorian. I don't know how he's going to defend against this. And Ji Wei knows he's got it. He can sense it. And I have to say, Armin Gregorian needs to pull a rabbit out of the hat here because he is taking too many shots and he's not defending them very well at all. But how do you defend against a fighter like Ji Wei? Well, if you have a look at uh, Armin, he's breathing very, very heavy. Took a nasty elbow there on the inside. His gas tank is coming to, you know, it's getting approaching that E sign. And, well, and Shi Wei looks fresh as a daisy. He's lining these shots up, Shi Wei, just throwing them at random. It's like a, a subconscious flow, isn't it? He just throws strikes from anywhere. He's not planning any of this. It's just an instantaneous thought process that he's going through, a fluidity. And he's really delivering these shots. Greg, uh, Gregorian really needs to have a care here because we're going down to the 10 second clapper, but this has been a real roller coaster. In goes that smashing elbow again. Yeah, I think uh, Gregorian is on a slippery slope here, Will. Um, and you say Shi Wei is, is on autopilot, flying, flying kick there, and a jumping elbow. That's the end of the third round. But you know, if you're a fighter, you have to be on autopilot. You can't be thinking all the time, trying to conjure up techniques. They have to flow. Well, I have to say, Ji Wei needs to be served with a public order notice because he is riotous in that ring. What an exciting fighter. What a dynamic energy he's brought to this. Quietly confident. Gregorian, with all that support, looked like it was a cake to be walked. We've seen Ji Wei pull out absolute Magical athleticism here, taking it to another level, Grant. Yes, and it's interesting, is it? You look at some of these guys. If, if Shi Wei was walking down a street, 
in his school uniform. He look, he just looks like a young boy, but how dangerous is he? People really don't know, you know, the ferocity that is contained with practitioners of martial arts, especially Muay Thai. Well, I'll tell you how dangerous is he? He's as dangerous as a pit full of rattlesnakes. He is so dangerous. And at the moment now, Armin Grigorian needs anti-Chinese repellent to keep Xi Wei off of him because he is just about to get smothered by the onslaught. We're going to the fourth round, the pivotal round, the third. Xi Wei has strategized this perfectly. And yet there is gonna have to be some deep thinking from the Armenians camp because at the end of that third round, he looked like a man that was running out of ideas fast. And as Gregorian went back to his corner at the end of that round, uh, he must have been so thankful that it's a two minute rest period in between these rounds, not one minute. And those two minutes must flash by in the blink of an eye for Gregorian. Ji Wei can't get back, can't wait to get back to the action. Well, you're seeing shots of the wonderful star-studded audience here in Beirut. The glitterati here to watch this wonderful national event. Phoenix Fighting Championships. This is the second one, number two. And uh, well, what an event number one was. So much so that the success of number two is just shining through and bursting out. A genie out of a bottle is what's needed here for Armin Grigorian against Ji Wei in this junior middleweight championship title belt. Well, is that a knockdown or was it a slip, Grant? Well, it was uh, it was a low kick trip. There's that flying kick again. He's so dangerous, flying knee. It comes up on the left-hand side and actually Grigorian can't defend it. For some reason, it even goes through the guard. It comes up again there, standing the high kick. And Ji Wei now on a roll. Flying elbow strike, the aggression that came from that. That's explosive action. I mean, I'm very, very impressed with Xi Wei. His arsenal of techniques is so comprehensive for a 21-year-old. This man must live and breathe fight sport. You know, he's really brought an energy to this. And what a terrific event that Phoenix 2 is turning out to be. What a great matchup. What an exciting matchup. These fighters are just phenomenal. And you know, you say that they live, eat, sleep, and breathe martial arts, but Muay Thai it is not just fighting, it's a way of life, Will. Well, the tide starting to overwhelm Armin Grigorian. On point so far, these rounds have been so strong for Ji Wei that really now, Armin Grigorian needs a stoppage here because he's just being swamped here by a tsunami of Chinese star Muay Thai. The elbow strike there from Grigorian. Referee Ahmed Bleibel calls break, but well, again, oh. the elbow strike, close quarters, and the referee having a look at that. What an unbelievably powerful strike. There's the count. What a terrific strike there from Chinese fighter Ji Wei. I'm surprised. Uh at this level that he's given him a standing count for that technique. It didn't really seem to wobble him. Well, Gregorian's not out of this yet. He's getting wise to these surprise attacks from Ji Wei. And although Ji Wei is young and strong, he's only got to make one mistake. But look at the power here, that front teeth, the jumping knee strikes. It really is an onslaught. I mean, Armand Gregorian is wearing Ji Wei. Well, listen, we're down to the last 20 seconds of the fourth round and Xi Wei is just as fresh as he was in the first round and still as dangerous. Well, this is voodoo, Mutai voodoo that we're seeing here because the creativity from Xi Wei landing those strikes. I'm surprised we haven't seen a cut yet. Xi Wei is really targeted. And there's the end of the fourth round. It couldn't come a second too soon for Armand Grigorian. And I have to say that that is a pants day in the office for Grigorian. Well, as we said earlier in the show, you're only as good as your opponent will allow you to be. It's not a great day at the office for Gregorian, but the young man from China, Xi Wei, has not let him unleash any of his techniques. And he's just been a joy to watch, hasn't he?
Oh, absolutely. We've seen so much creativity, almost rewriting the rules, bringing some, well, excitement, some out of the box thinking, some real, real elements of showmanship in a traditional fight style. I mean, he's really encompassed it all here, isn't he? Yes, and he's having fun as well. Isn't it great to see a young man choosing a profession that's healthy, constructive, and he's having a whale of a time? Well, you know, he's having fun, he's having a great time, and, you know, some people are very sort of, what's the word, serious about fight sport. They kind of believe it's a matter of life and death. And I'm disappointed with that attitude, actually, because we can assure them it's much, much more. <laughs> yes, I, w I was wondering where that was going. Um, yeah, but if, you know, if you're not enjoying it, you can enjoy training, you can enjoy the lifestyle, but nobody enjoys getting hit, but you have to enjoy the pressure. You have to ride the tsunami of adrenaline. And once you're in that ring, it can be the loneliest place in the world but you've got to be that kind of person, have that character that suits it. Good, better, best. Never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best. Tonight we are witnessing the highest level of athleticism, the best in Muay Thai. I'm Sensei Will Vanders, Sawadi Kop Us, ringside by the legendary Master of Ceremonies, Grant Waterman, the fifth and final round in this WMC Intercontinental title matchup. Armand Gregorian versus Zhi Wei. Armenia plays China and Zhi Wei all over this bout like a cheap suit. Well, cheap suits are made in China, but this one certainly is a classy one. He's opened the toolbox now and he's bringing everything out to play. Is this going to have a spectacular finish? Well, it's going to be hard to uh, just see where this is going at this stage for Armand Gregorian in terms of what kind of strategy he's going to bring to this. A huge representation in the audience and the stadium tonight, but he's looking like a man that's really lost. And if ever you needed a sat-nav to get out of a hole, Armand Gregorian needs it now because I think what is going on in his head is, please turn around, please turn around and go the other way. Where he's gonna go, I've got no idea. He's in a cul-de-sac. Jumping knee strike from Xi Wei. Well, I think, I don't know if we will see a stoppage. There's still time, but uh, Armin Gregorian's taken everything that uh, he's now cut. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Well, uh, cuts man be, Bob, yeah, stepping up, ready to get in there and treat the injury. It would be sad if at this stage it ended like this because actually Gregorian, it wasn't over for him. I'm surprised this didn't happen earlier because he took some wicked shots from Ji Wei. Well, the doctor's looking at that. The cut is, it's in the corner, but in that position, if the blood starts dripping into the eye and affecting his vision, they'll stop the fight. Well, you know, the doctor should allow the cutsman to do his work and just see what's happening. That's not a showstopper because it's just a nick in the eyebrow. Look at that, that's artistry there. If you ever go to Rome and you look at the Sistine Chapel, you compare that work to the work of our man Bob because he's just, uh, stop that, look at that, ready to go again. And one minute 35 to go at round five, it would be a shame to stop and end that way. Great and, work. And Bob's been in the game for about 40 years, Will. Um, I, only know, I know he only looks about 21. He's been in professional boxing. He's a regular cuts man for the UFC. So credibility everywhere here around Phoenix Fighting Championships. Absolutely. But back to the action. And now Gregorian needs some magic. But look at that in that exchange. Xi Wei is cut. Whoa, this fight is going to turn around on a sixpence. Goodness me, with one minute to go, you can't ever count anybody out in this sport. This could be a turn of events, Will. Grant, it ain't over till it's over, and it ain't over. There's a cut underneath the eye of Zhi Wei. Now, it could be a stoppage in play here. So, 
It's not over, and we can hear the crowd voice in their delight at that derby. Yes, event. that's lifted them, hasn't it? You know, you could say it's not over till the fat lady sings, but in Lebanon, I haven't seen one fat lady. So we're going to keep going. The action's restarting. This could spur Shiway on to try and go for a finish now, but that means he could get careless and get caught. Well, that cut still quite a bad one and opening up a bit under a minute left now in round five and look at the Armenian Gregorian start to lift and start to take his game to another level she way really trying to smother him and ambush him and mug him on the inside but he's not having it Gregorian look at the counter oh there's it's a knockdown Armin Gregorian with a big right hand from nowhere she way takes the count boom boom he hit the room well, he's protesting. He says it wasn't a knockdown. It looked like it from where we were sitting. It could have been a slip, but it was a slip. On the other end of it was a punch. Well, we've got just under 20 seconds to go. Both fighters look as if they've been a war of attrition. Ji Wei was on a wave there, but they slug it out. Ji Wei trying to finish. Spinning back elbow from Gregorian and landed that. Ji Wei protesting. That's getting in the way of his action here. He's really got to put that out of his mind. The seconds clip out. That's it. It's the end of the fifth round. Oh, my word. Uh, up until that point, it was complete domination. It's going to be intriguing to see the judges' scorecards now. I can't see it going to the Armenian, but you just never, ever know if you leave it in the hands of those three people with the scorecards. Well, absolutely, Grant, but again, what a great performance from both fighters. Absolutely full fat action right from the get-go. There really, really wasn't any let-up. Ji Wei, 21 years of age. What a promising fight future that boy has got. So, you know... Huge success in his recent outings. And this 21 has been approved by the World Muay Thai Council. He could just be in line for a title belt. So we wait with trepidation to hear the final judge's announcement here. But what an absolute cracker this has been. And there was an absolutely stunning Reversal of proceedings. Look at that high kick. That was the knockdown that really turned things in Ji Wei's favor. But then from nowhere, Gregorian pulled out a right hand and it was a knockdown. What a turnout. What a turn up for the books. So I think that Ji Wei consistently over the five rounds did enough, but it wasn't over. No way till the final bell went and we just have to wait and see how the judges have scored this. One thing's for sure, it will be a very disappointed Armenian contingent if it's Ji Wei. These warriors. But after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a unanimous decision in favour of your winner and new WMC Intercontinental 70 kilogram champion from China. Ji <laughs> Wei has done it. The 21 year old has come to Beirut and rested. A title belt from his opponent, Armand Gregorian. 28 play 21 here. The Chinese fighter really put in a stellar performance. Gregorian was on the back foot right from the get-go. This was a real attritional outing for Armand Gregorian. And what a disappointment and a sense of disappointment from the Armenian contingent here tonight. But Ji Wei, what a performance from this young man. Absolutely sparkling. Inventive, creative, just so exciting and explosive. And Grant's going to have a few words. Just a chance for a photo opportunity as uh, CEO, Mr. Chehe Yerevenian, there gives the belt. 
and representatives from the organisation. Fantastic win, albeit unpopular from the crowd's perspective. OK, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the new Intercontinental Champion, Shi Wei from China. What a fantastic fight. Dynamic, athletic techniques, jumping kicks, spinning elbows. Has he got anything to say to the fans? He said, you this fight has been very good. The fans have got a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to see you in the next He said, that's for Nibana. He loves him. He loves Lebanon. He loves Lebanon. She won't love Lebanon. And Lebanon loves you.